So one of the most challenging things for a new drone pilot is not only learning how to fly your new drone, but also how do you edit the video footage that you capture with it? Because what's the use of having a drone and capturing some amazing video footage from the air and then leaving it on your micro SD card. And so what I hope to do with these next three videos is show you how to edit that drone footage and get it out into the world and share it with your family and your friends and social media and things like that. And so in this first video in the series, I'm gonna show you how to edit with the DJI Fly app. Now the DJI Fly app is used to fly the Mavic Mini, but many people don't know, it also has a video editing program in it. And you can actually make some pretty nice videos with that program. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna fly the Mavic Mini just across the road here, across the railroad tracks. There's a gravel pit there, and we don't have any mountains around where I live, so I don't have any epic scenery for you guys, but I'm just gonna pretend these gravel piles and these sand piles are mountains, and I'm just gonna capture some various angles of those piles, and then I'm gonna make a short video with using the DJI Fly app. And then in the follow-up videos, I'm gonna show you how to use another program called CyberLink Power Director. And then finally, for the third video in this series, I'm gonna show you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I'm just gonna show you three different ways that you can edit the footage. The first one is free, the second one is relatively inexpensive for what you get. And then the third one is the most powerful, but probably the most complicated. So let's get into the video and see if we can get that footage off of your micro SD card and share it with the world. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait. You're in trouble, D. All right, so we have our video footage captured of our beautiful North Dakota mountains, the sand and the gravel hills of North Dakota. So what we're gonna do is I got about seven and a half minutes of footage. Now I've downloaded it to my phone already from the Mavic Mini. It took about uh, 20 minutes. It's a two gigabyte file, 2.7K at 30 frames per second. Takes about 20 minutes to download to your phone. So just be aware, if you're gonna do this out in the wild, out on the field, it's gonna take some time to download that footage. So make sure you have some battery left on your drone. Otherwise it's gonna get interrupted and you're gonna get really mad. And, uh, and also that you're gonna have to allow some time to do that. So let's go ahead and open up the DJI Fly app here. By the way, I forgot to say, if this is your first time here, this is 51 Drones, if you haven't figured that out yet. And my name is Russ. Go ahead and browse around the channel after you're done watching this. And if you find my content valuable or useful or interesting or anything, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for future videos. So let's get into the DJI Fly app. We're gonna click on the album button. Okay, so here I have my videos that I've downloaded from my Mavic Mini over the few past few weeks. So here's the one that I just captured and we're gonna click on it. First, it brings up where you can just play the video and watch it, but we wanna do some editing on it. So we're gonna click on the little scissors down in the lower right-hand corner and that's gonna bring up our editing program. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is show you all these little icons over here on the right-hand side. The first one is the cut icon. It's the little scissors there, and that's used to cut your clip into multiple clips. So what you do is you use your finger or your thumb to drag your video clip around. And once you find a spot that you wanna cut it, click on the scissors and that's gonna cut your clip right there. The next icon is the tone icon, and this is where you're gonna make some adjustments to your footage, like your brightness or your contrast, your saturation, your temperature, your vignette, and your sharpness. So you have some options there. And I'm not gonna do much with this particular clip. I'm gonna do a couple of things. Number one, I'm gonna change the temperature. When I recorded this, it got to be a little too yellow. And so what I don't wanna do is kinda of add some blue to get rid of that yellow. So I'm gonna click on temperature. I'm gonna drag that down a little bit and that's gonna cool it off. Uh, I'm gonna increase the contrast a little bit. So I'm gonna tap on contrast and then drag that up. And then finally, I'm gonna turn the brightness up just a little bit too. And so those are the adjustments I'm gonna to make to this particular clip. Now I do recommend doing that before you start cutting this into multiple clips because otherwise you're gonna spend a little more time adding those adjustments to each of the individual clips. So it's a lot quicker just to do it all right away. Now the next button down the line there is called volume and this is if your video has volume to it, you can adjust the volume. Of course, most drone footage isn't gonna have that so you can go ahead and skip that. The next one is speed. If you wanna slow down or speed up your video, you can do that right here and you can go all the way down to one fourth speed or all the way up to four times speed. Uh, I will tell you that I wouldn't mess with this too much, especially if you're shooting in 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, because if you slow those frame rates down, what happens is they get a little bit choppy. And if the more you slow it down, the more noticeable it's gonna be. So honestly, I wouldn't do that too much uh, with this app. You can do it with those other programs I'm gonna show you later, 
but for now, I wouldn't mess with the speed on here. The next one down the line is reverse. And what this is gonna do, just like it sounds, it's gonna reverse the clip. So it's gonna play the clip backwards. Now we're not gonna do that with this video, but what you can use that for actually is, uh, you can combine that with the next one here, which is copy. And what that does is it copies whatever clip that you have highlighted. And, and then you can put that clip next to the original clip and then reverse it. And then you can make like a boomerang effect. So if you have the drone say flying towards a mountain and then you wanna show it kind of bouncing back from that, from that same path, you can do that. You can copy it, put it right next to it and then reverse. And so it goes up and then it comes back. It looks pretty cool. So to save time, we're not gonna do that today. And then on the far right, here's the timeline editor. That's where we're at right now. The next one is the music notes. And I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. The third one down is the effects panel. This, uh, this is a, where you can add like LUTs. This is color grading right here. So you can go ahead and tap on these and it'll show you a preview of the changes that it's gonna make to your video. So I'm not gonna make any changes with this color grade here, but what you can do is if you find one that you like and it's maybe a little too strong, so like this one right here, tap on it again, and then you can dial in the intensity of that particular color grade. So kind of cool, they do have some good options here for color grading, uh, and they have, actually have quite a few. So check those out if you're interested in doing any color grading, but we're not gonna do that today. And finally on the bottom is the T, which is the title, and this is where you can add a title to your video to maybe tell people where this is. You know, maybe this is the mountains of North Dakota, you can put that on there, Dakota mountains or whatever. But, uh, but we're not gonna do that today either. So that's all of the icons. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the timeline editor here. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start cutting this seven and a half minute clip. We're gonna pull out our favorite parts and make like a short one minute or maybe a little over one minute clip. So the next thing that you wanna do, and I do this with every single video, you wanna add music to your video. Music makes videos so much more appealing, much more interesting to watch, it appeals to more emotions, and so it just gives it an overall better feel. Now, there are some music tracks already pre-installed on the DJI Fly app. If you click on the little notes here, the music notes, that's gonna bring up some pre-installed music. And I'll tell you right now, <laughs> there's not very many of them and they're not very good. The, the music quality is, it's not good. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. I did find one of them that actually works pretty good for drone footage. So I'm gonna show you that one. Uh, but normally what I do for all my videos is I add my own music. So any music that you have installed on your phone, you can use that and add it to your video clip and, and makes it more interesting. So what I use for all of my music is I use a program called Epidemic Sound. It's a website, it's a subscription-based music service and you pay a month, I pay a monthly fee. It's actually the lowest uh, subscription plan out there that I have found for royalty-free music. And so there's three reasons that I use Epidemic Sound. It's the cheapest, it has the most options for the price and so I can browse around and do searches for certain types of music, you know, genres, different moods, different beats, different lengths. And so it's really easy for me to find the music that I want to go with a particular video. And then finally, uh, it's a 30 day free trial and that's what got me hooked. I clicked on the 30 day free trial and you can download as much music as you want during those 30 days. And once I did that, I was instantly hooked because there's so, so much variety of music and also they're adding sound effects and they add sound effects on a regular basis and I've started using those in all of my videos. So if you're interested in Epidemic Sound and a 30 day free trial, there is a link down in the description of this video. Click on that, go ahead and check it out. I really recommend it. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna use the one that's already installed and we're gonna click on Epic and then it's called Four Epic Movies right there. Click on Use. All right, so now we've dropped our music into the video. We're gonna go back to the timeline. Now here's one of the disadvantages of the DJI Fly App video editing program is you can't see the music. Uh, normally you can see you know, the timeline of the music so you can cut to the beat of the music because you can see those peaks where the beat drops. You can't do that here. So we kind of have to figure out where the beat drops are and then pause the, hopefully we hit the pause button just in time and then cut it so it does take some practice. It does take a few times. So. So I'm just gonna show you how I get this started. Uh, I know that I want the first part of the video to have kind of a reveal of these little sand hills. So I'm gonna scroll ahead to about right there. And then I'm gonna click on the cut button in the upper right hand corner. And that's gonna split the clip into two separate clips. Then I'm gonna touch that left side there, that little clip. I'm gonna get rid of it by clicking on the delete. 
So now we got rid of that part that we don't want. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the play button right here and I'm gonna listen to the music and when I hear a beat drop, I'm gonna try to pause the music right where that beat drops. So let's go ahead and give it a listen. Okay, so did you hear that? Where the cymbals kind of build up and then a beat drops, it's like shh, boo, right there. That's where you want to change the scene. I sound like Peter McKinnon, don't I? So, <laughs> so that's where we're going to try to cut the music. So I'm going to scroll back a little bit, hit the play button and try to catch it. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it pretty good. So once you get to that point and you pause it right there, we're going to click on the scissors and that's going to cut. Now we're going to scroll ahead to the next part of the clip that we want to include in our final video. And I'm going to go about right here. I know I, I have a, um, a kind of a point of interest around this largest gravel pile here. So I'm going to click on the cut. That's going to cut our clip. I'm going to get rid of that middle clip right there. I'm going to touch it, delete, and right there. So let's see how I did with that tapping on that pause button. Perfect. All right, so, so I got lucky on the first time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna listen to the track, I'm gonna play the video, I'm gonna make cuts to the beat of the music. Now I do wanna say you don't have to do that for every single scene change. I'm gonna do that for this video because it's a short video and I just think it sounds better. But if you have a, a longer video, you don't have to make a cut every time the beat drops because otherwise it's too noticeable and you don't wanna do that. It just shouldn't be that noticeable, it should just, add to the video, but it shouldn't take away from the video by having a cut every single time. So I just wanted to say that. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. I'm gonna go through and make these cuts to the music. But when it comes to her, you better keep it serial. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where Okay, so now I have all of the clips cut to the music and I'm satisfied with it. Once you've got those cut to the beats of the music, you're gonna go ahead and click on the upper right hand corner here where it has this little square with the arrow. And then you can choose to export it in 720p or 1080p. Of course, I'm gonna choose 1080p just because you want the best quality that you can get. And then once that's done, it's saved on your phone. You can upload it to your Dropbox or your Google Drive or you can post it on Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want to, YouTube even, and, uh, and start sharing your video footage. So. Hopefully I gave you something of value today. Hopefully you got something out of it, something to get you started, something to get that video footage that's on your micro SD card, edit it a little bit and get it out there because I know that it's frustrating when you're first getting started in video editing. So if I did give you something of value to help you get started, click on that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Also, I'm gonna be releasing these other two videos very soon, the CyberLink Power Director editing video and the Adobe Premiere Pro CC video. So if you wanna watch those, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those. If you have any questions about the DJI Fly app and how I did this, uh, put them in the comments because for the first 24 hours of me posting this video, I'm gonna answer every single comment. I'm gonna answer as many questions as I can to the best of my ability. So make sure that you comment below, you know, what. What, what was that or could you go over that again or whatever and I'd be happy to answer those because I know it's very confusing. It was for me when I first started editing and, uh, and so I'm sure some of you are experiencing the same things that I went through. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I know that I missed a couple of those cuts and then I'm gonna post this video right at the end here. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day and as always fly safe and fly smart.